This episode of Fully Charged comes from a land that produces far more electricity than it can use. So Adrian, we've come up to the um, White Lee Wind Farm, which is very kind of you to drive. It's driven us here in a Nissan Leaf, so we've had an electric car drive up here. It is a bit windy, and what's a, what's a good Scottish description? Driech, I it's think, driech. is the right word. <laughs> driech. I can't quite say it. Driech. <laughs> uh, but this is an extraordinary wind farm. It's huge. I mean, there's 50 wind turbines. There's there? 50 wind turbines, and uh, I think nearly 500 megawatts of capacity. Right. So it's um, half the size of a nuclear power station. But the other, the other thing that I find fascinating that you do is you, you also generate electricity. You, you just well, generate I, it like mad all over the place. I have, well, Scotland generates electricity like mad. Yeah. We, the, the government set a target of 30% um, uh, renewable electricity by last year. We uh, exceeded that target. I think that last year was 33%, oh. and that's increasing. So, this, and, so, that, um, so all the electricity that's used in Scotland, 33% of it is coming from renewables. It's coming from renewables as we speak. Right. And uh, the target is 100% renewables by 2020. Right. And combined with that, the, the Scottish government has declared that they want almost total decarbonisation of road transport by 2040, right. uh, maybe 2050. Um, and uh, those two things are very closely allied yeah, because if... south of the border, there's quite a lot of negativity about wind turbines, and there, you know, even mm. today when I tweeted I was coming out, I got a, oh, yes. you're going to see another blot on the landscape, are you, Lloyd? And so yes. I mean, there are. Uh, you, I, what, what, do you know what the general consensus is of the, the people who live right now? Uh, well, the, the the interesting thing is that the general consensus is is moving in the direction of acceptance of wind turbines right. rather than the other direction. Right. People are finding that that generally renewable energy is not quite as intrusive on their lives as they thought it right. might be. Uh, this wind farm has 50 turbines. Down the road, Clyde Wind Farm, which is just coming on stream, has just announced it's built its 100th wind turbine, and it has another 100 to go. And are they land-based um, ones? They're, they're all land-based land ones, yes. Oh, yes, wow. they're all land-based. And, uh, of course, there's, there's massive offshore energy resources to yeah. be had. It's yeah. replacing the oil industry in Scotland to a large extent. Right. Um, but the technology has a long way to go. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a huge industry, and it's... Uh, uh, you know, it's it's a massive benefit to the you'll economy. Be, you'll be the Saudi Arabia of the 21st century. Well, that's what we hope. Next, we go below sea level to look at tidal turbines off the Scottish coast. 